Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new, I'm V, and in today's video, I'm gonna go buck shopping, and I'm so excited because I haven't gone in so long because I've been so busy with exams for school, but now it's the summer, and I have a lot of time on my hands and a huge to-be-read list, so I am so excited to go book shopping. I have a list with me of books I wanna get, but I'm gonna go in and look and see what they have, and maybe I'll get some other things too, but we are gonna go to Indigo, which is basically the Canadian version of Barnes & Noble, and I love love that place so much. I'm so excited for this. excited to show you the books that I got. I'm literally excited to read every single one of these books. There were so many more that I wanted to get, like so many more, but I only got five books because I still have books on my bookshelves that I haven't read yet, but I need to read or want to read. So I was like, I can't just buy all the books that I want to get. Plus it's expensive. So I was like, you know what? I have to hold back, which is the hardest thing ever. But I'm so excited to show you the five books that I got. For anyone wondering, I'm currently reading Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel and Solomon, which is an amazing book, but I know I'm going to be done it soon. So so I'm glad that I have other books to read. I just realized that I have no idea how I'm going to choose which one to read next. Like, that's physically going to pain me. I don't know. Mm, and I'm thinking of doing a reading vlog for some of these books, so comment down below which one of these books that you would want to see me do a reading vlog for next, because that would be really fun. Anyways, let me just get into it. So, the first book that I picked up that had its own section for it, because it's just so hyped right now, is Heartstopper. I've heard so many good things about this book and there's a series out on Netflix right now of this book so I figured this would be so so fun to read and then watch it after because I love doing that for books. I honestly don't really know what this is about so we're gonna find out together. Okay so on the back it says boy meets boy, boys become friends, boys fall in love. 
Shy and soft-hearted Charlie Spring sits next to rugby player Nick Nelson in class one morning. A warm and intimate friendship follows, and that soon develops into something more for Charlie, who doesn't think he has a chance. But Nick is struggling with feelings of his own, and as the two grow closer and take on the ups and downs of high school, they come to understand the surprising and delightful ways in which love works. That already sounds really, really cute, and it's a graphic novel, and I used to love graphic novels. Like, when I went to the library, I would sit in that section and just read a bunch of like the baby mouse. I don't know if people know baby mouse books and like books like that, but I miss reading graphic novels. So I'm so excited to read this. This is volume one and there are multiple volumes. So I guess I should pick up more after this one's done. We'll see. Probably should have gotten them all. I don't know how many volumes there are to be honest. I need to figure that out before I figure out if I'm gonna get the rest, but I'm so excited to read this. Okay, the next book is a fantasy book and it's one that I've heard so many recommendations for. Um, it's The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I've heard so many things about this book. I love the cover so much. It's absolutely gorgeous and I'm really excited to read this. So this one says, sharpen your blade, harden your heart. Jude was seven when her parents were murdered and she and her two sisters were stolen away to live in a treacherous high court of fairy. Ten years later, Jude wants nothing more than to belong there, but many of the fae despise humans, especially Prince Cardin. Oh, how do you pronounce that? Cardan? Cardin? Uh, I don't know. The youngest and wickedest son of the High King. To win a place at the court, Jude must defy him and face the consequences. That sounds really good. I feel like this is enemies to lovers, which is my favorite ever romance trope. Like, this has to be an enemies to lovers setup. But I'm so, so excited to read this. I've heard so many good things about this, and I can't wait to make my own opinion of whether this is good or not. Next up, oh my gosh, I'm really excited to read this one. Normal People by Sally Rooney. Now, I know Sally Rooney has a book that's turning into like a show or a, a, I think a Hulu show or movie, and it's Conversations with Friends. But I don't know if this also has a se I don't know if this has a series or not, to be honest, but I'm really excited to read this. Again, heard so many good things about this and her writing style apparently is very unique and interesting to read so I'm really really excited to read this. So the blurb is that Connell and Marion grew up in the same small town but the similarities end there. At school Connell is popular and well liked while Marianne is a loner. But when the two strike up a conversation, awkward but electrifying, something life-changing begins. Normal People is a story of mutual fascination, friendship, and love. It takes us from that first conversation to the years beyond in the company of two people who try to stay apart but find that they can't. Okay, yeah, this sounds really good. I'm so excited to read this. Oh my gosh, the Washington Post says a novel that demands to be read compulsively in one sitting? I love the sound of that. I was in a reading slump recently because I was reading A Firekeeper's Daughter, which is a really good book and it's so rich in culture that like I learned a lot from it, but it was a really slow read for me at least and so it kind of put me in a reading slump, which is another reason why I didn't read for so long. So I really hope that these books will be easy reads and hopefully one sitting reads. So the next book that I got is Daisy Joan and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Maybe I should peel off this sticker. Why did I get the one with a sticker on it? It's literally not coming off and I don't want to ruin the cover of this book. Perfect! Yay! Okay, Daisy Jones and the Six, another highly recommended book. I usually only just read highly recommended books, to be honest with you, because, like, I just, I want to see the hype, and if I know a lot of other people like it, then I'm like, I'm most likely gonna like it, so that's just why I do that. But Daisy Jones and the Six apparently is really good as an audiobook, and I actually started listening to the audiobook, and I got, like, a chapter in, but I don't have, like, lots of time where I listen to audiobooks, and I... I much prefer reading a physical copy, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna read this book as a physical copy, but I would still recommend the audiobook because it's so cool to hear all of their voices, and I still have it, so maybe I could like listen to it while reading, I don't know, but I'm really excited to read this. So I'll read the back. Daisy is a girl coming of age in LA in the late 60s, sneaking into clubs on the Sunset Strip, sleeping with rock stars, and dreaming of singing at the Whiskey A Go-Go. Her voice is getting noticed, and she's the kind of heedless beauty that makes people do crazy things. Also getting noticed is The Six, a band led by the brooding Billy Dunn. On the eve of their first tour, his girlfriend, Camilla, finds out she's pregnant, and with the pressure of impending fatherhood and fame, Billy goes a little wild on the road. Daisy and Billy cross paths when a producer realizes that the key to supercharged success is to put the two together. What happens next will become the stuff of legend. I want to see the hype for this book. I really, really want to see the hype for this book. Oh! It looks so interesting. I just, like, looked at the inside. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of written like their names and then it says stuff. 
I don't know. That's actually really intriguing. I love when books have different ways of being written because it just like keeps it like interesting and fun. So I love that. Okay, and last but not least is probably the most hyped book in the world right now. And I wasn't, I was hesitating for a long time to buy this because I was like, am I emotionally ready for this? I don't know. But it's It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. The only Colleen Hoover book I've read is Verity, which I have on my shelf right now. And I rated it a five out of five stars because Colleen Hoover's way of writing is so gripping. She is like a spider. She knows how to make like an intricately woven web of a book that literally leaves you trapped in its hold. Like I literally could read Verity in one sitting. It was just that like gripping and intriguing and I had to just like, I was like, I have to know what's happening next. And I'm hoping that this book will be like that as well. But so many people say they cried during this book and I don't know if I'm ready for that, but I decided I have to know what everyone is talking about. Like, I'm just the type of person that needs to know the hype. I'm like, why? Why do people love this book? I need to read it to find out. So this is what it's about. So it says, sometimes the one who loves you is the one who hurts you the most. Lily hasn't always had it easy, but that's never stopped her from working hard for the life she wants. She's come a long way from the small town in Maine where she grew up. She graduated from college, moved to Boston, and started her own business. So when she feels a spark with a gorgeous neurosurgeon named Ryle Kincaid, ooh, I love that name, Ryle, everything in Lily's life suddenly seems almost too good to be true. Ryle is assertive, stubborn, maybe even a little arrogant. He's also sensitive, brilliant, and has a total soft spot for Lily. But Ryle's complete aversion to relationships is disturbing. As questions about her new relationship overwhelm her, so do thoughts of Atlas Corrigan, her first love, and a link to the past she left behind. He was her kindred spirit, her protector. When Atlas suddenly reappears, everything Lily has built with Ryle is threatened. I don't like when there's like two like love interests, but it's fine. I'm sure this will be good. First of all, I have to say the cover is freaking gorgeous like that is such a pretty cover um but yeah i'm excited to read this as well so yeah let me know which book you want to see me do a reading vlog on if maybe even all i don't know about all of them so those were all the books that i got today and i'm so excited to read every single one of them it's the summer i really need to read as much as possible because honestly reading is like my favorite entire thing to do in the world reading and writing best things in the world and yeah if you've read any of these books that i mentioned please comment down below what you thought of them or if you're excited to read one of these books let me know in the comment section below as well and thank you so much for watching my video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button and join the fam i post writing and book related videos and also be sure to hit the post notification bell so you're notified the next time i upload a video and i will see you guys in my next video bye